my name is Maria de Souza. I am the founder of Porter Queen. This is a place for you to learn all things good posture and movement for a life without pain and a life lived with more elegance. Today I'm going to talk about maintaining good posture and looking elegant while we are having our meals. So the first thing to think about when you come to sitting is the feet. The feet needs to be flat on the floor, grounded. That helps you to maintain good posture because good posture starts on the feet. Then connect to your sitting bones. Your sitting bones will help you to maintain an upright position. And if you don't know where your sitting bones are and what the purpose of them is, please watch my video called Meet Your Best Friends. It teaches, teaches you and explains where the sitting bones are and what the purpose of them is. So it's important that you understand that to maintain good posture while sitting. So, the feet is flat on the floor, connect to your sitting bones, that will help you to have a upright torso. Now, when it comes to eating your meals, I want you to remember this mantra. The food comes to the mouth, not the mouth to the food. And also I want to make clear that this is not an uh, etiquette class. I am a posture expert and of course etiquette and good posture go hand in hand. But I, ex I teach good posture. So I use my fork this way and I hold it this way. So I, I grab my food and I bring it to the mouth. Um, a lot of people um, do it the other way around, they hold uh, the fork like this and this is how um, certain disciplines teach you to hold the fork and it's all too well, I, I don't mind. For me, the important thing is that if you do this, make sure that you're not hunching over to bring the food to the mouse. Still keep a upright position and then the food comes to the mouse. So it's for you to decide what's best um, for you to keep good posture. For me it's this way. I think it's the best way to keep um, good posture and look elegant. I feel that this way, the tend using the fork this way, which I don't really understand why we turn the fork around this way, because when we eat soup, we don't eat soup with the back of the spoon, we eat soup um, on top there and we bring the food um, to the mouth. So, um, but anyway, if you decide to use the fork this way, um, just make sure that you, you bring um, the food all the way up to the mouth. I feel that the tendency is to more to hunch over when you use the, the fork this way, but it's up to you to decide what's best for you. So, and when you eating here, you know, the food is on the fork and you bring the food to the mouth. If you need to move, always move from the hip joints, rolling on the sitting bone. So if you need to grab water or wherever, or the um, salt or the pepper, always move from the sitting bones, as opposed to rounding the, the back or moving the head to grab anything. Keep the torso upright and move from the um, hip joints. Another thing that I'd like to bring to your attention is that uh, if you only eat with one hand, which is okay, I do that most of the time. Um, what I see is that the other hand tends to come and rest on your lap. Now, again, there are certain disciplines that teach you to do that. For me, it's not a good idea. And why I think this is not a good idea is because you're creating a pattern. The tendency is to 
drop on that side and of course by doing this you are creating this pattern and that is a little bit tilted and twisted and and of course every time you come to sitting you'll have this pattern which doesn't look good and also of course it's misaligning your body your pelvis and your spine so the best thing for me is to keep the hand on the table that helps you to keep the shoulders square and from here you can easily maintain good posture having your hand up and um, down here it's a little bit more um, difficult to maintain good posture because the tendency is to drop on that side so see what's best for you the main things the key points are the feet is on the floor connect to your sitting bones the food comes to the mouth not the mouth to the foot if you need to move move from the hip joints um, and not from the head. Also, it's best to keep the hand on the table, both hands on the table, to keep you, to help you to maintain good posture and look elegant. So, I hope this is of value to you, and if it is, please share this video around. And if you have questions, pop them below. I'll come back with more posture tips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye now.